Hey everybody, here's Jason Ferrero here again, uh, teaching mortgage protection mastery, uh, along with how to sell annuities and earn yourself a $10,000 week this week. So what I'm gonna put on this whiteboard here is strategies that I use on a weekly basis to get myself to no less than $10,000 a week. And I'm gonna provide you with the information that I use inside the homes, the strategies, the language I use, and to get you some of the concepts and ideas and strategies, tips and tricks that I use inside the house to make sure that I'm no less than at 10,000 bucks every week. My top end number constantly shooting for is no less, you know, no less than 10,000, but I'm constantly shooting for 20. And if anything above 20 happens, that's due to most of the time due to the fact that I'm selling annuities anywhere from one to five. Now, when you start learning how to illustrate annuities inside these homes, you start making more money. But the first step is, without a doubt, finding the right organization to work with, getting product knowledge, and then getting your lead resources up and high every week. They got to come in steadily. So the A number one thing that reps lack is the lead resources. You got to have them every single week. They got to be coming in. They got to flow. If you guys have any comments, by the way, put them at the bottom. I want to hear about the comments that you may have. Lead resources. You got to have the number one lead resource. You got to have first class leads. Without these, you can't be first in the home. So all of you are third, fourth, second. Sometimes you're first, without a doubt, depending on demographics. But you can be second, third. Here, you're guaranteed to be first in the home. Guaranteed to be first. So all you would need to do is do the right damn thing in the house and you got every sale. Nobody can replace policies if this stuff is done correctly. So if you're doing it right, nobody can replace your policies. So, you know, when I'm inside a home, I want to treat this just like a sheet of paper, just, just like, just like a, 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 a notebook or just like a sheet of paper, blank sheet of paper inside the home. So, you know, I start with the names, let's say, Here's Tony. Tony's age 40. You got Sarah. Sarah's age 40. Let's just keep the, we'll keep the numbers even so I can do this illustration. And they had purchased a home for $200,000. So they purchased a home for $200,000. They got a 30 year mortgage. By the time they're done with this, they will be 70 years of age. So my first trick of the trade is teaching them how to get this thing paid off quicker. How can I do that for them to get this number down? How can they eliminate that 30 years and get it down to 15? There's one strategy I use to teach them. It's contacting their mortgage company and getting them to split the mortgage payments in half so it decreases the time on the mortgage by half, usually by half. Not a lot of your clients are gonna know that they have this ability to do this. So if you get your clients to contact their mortgage company and tell them to split the mortgage payments in half, they'll get the payments cut down by 15, 20 years. And that's one strategy I use. Why do I do that? Because that leaves a lot of money on the table. All that money that they would have put towards the house. Hypothetically, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, let's say they're paying a thousand bucks a month for 30 years. So a thousand dollars times 12 months equals 1,200. You know, you times that by 10 years, that's $120,000 you've saved them by doing this strategy, which helps you put more money towards their products. So inside the house, very simple process to get the money, to get the money that they need. These are two individuals are simple sale. I mean, if they're healthy, you can use two different ideas would be, you can do a term, ROP, Say they got $200,000 they need. I don't know what it would come to for a healthy non-smoker for 200 grand, but I can tell you that even if it's ROP, then what they need to be informed of, how you have to visualize, how you have to have them visualizing this is as a retirement plan. Everything I do is about the individuals paying their houses off and setting up a retirement plan. I'm always thinking about their future. And that's why I create great products for these people. So I have a retirement plan put in place for them doing an ROP. Now, if, if this would come to, let's say it's 200 bucks a month times 12, that's 2,400 times 10 years, that's 24,000. So it's about what, two, four, six. 
let's say it's 70,000 bucks that they get back in 30 years. If I use this money and put it towards an index universal life and put interest onto this money, it's going to change the game up for them. We'll probably be at $500,000 or $300,000 if you do it in an index universal life. These are very simple to sell the term products because they come with low premiums usually and, uh, you know, it's easy to get people in if they're healthy. Now, if we change this age up, Tony's 65, Sarah's 65, you got to change your game up in the, get in the house. So you come in here and you want to know what the monthly is. So what's the monthly mortgage payment? It's a thousand bucks a month. Tony. Sarah's going to be left with your Social Security income. She's going to get his Social Security income. Sarah, while you're waiting for his Social Security income, it's going to take 6 to 12 months before she receives his Social Security income. There's a void in time. Tony's got $3,000 a month coming in for Sarah, okay, in 6 to 12 months, okay? That's in this era of time. Now, if they die 20 years from now, this might be longer. It might take longer for them to get the money. It could take 12 to 24 months. Why? Because there's a lot more processing being done at the Social Security office. They're processing more baby boomer deaths. That's what I got as an excuse anyway. So they have six to 12 months to wait for her, for this 3,000 to become Sarah's. Now she's living on $1,000 a month. The monthly mortgage alone is $1,000. Sarah, if Tony's no longer here, will you live in this home anymore? Will you stay in this house? No or yes, you have to know what to do. So if it's no, you're buying time. You buy them a policy for twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars. So you get fifty k, twenty-five thousand dollars. Buy them time for what? Why are you doing that? Because there's equity being built into the home. So every time somebody makes a payment to their mortgage, they're building equity into the home. So the two options are, uh, here's Sarah. Tony's no longer here. Here's the house. Here's the bank. If Sarah does not have that payment for two to three months, the bank is coming. The bank gets paid to snatch out the home. So they will grab the house off of Sarah. What do they get? So 10 years, 20 years has gone past, there's $160,000 in equity built up into the home. $160,000 built up that the bank snatches from her because the life rep inside didn't convince her or give her enough knowledge or enough insight to the product to understand that she could have protected this home, got the equity out of it for her retirement schedule, and made the payments until the house sold. So that's your job is basically in that situation when Mrs. Jones says she doesn't want to live in a house after Tony's no longer there, that your job is to get the house sold for them. So you buy them enough time to sell the house, okay? So you have $1,000 a month going into this. She says she wants to stay in the house now. So what your job is to do is put a product in there that pays off the house, of course. I'm dealing with healthy people in these illustrations. You do know if you run into individuals that are unhealthy that you have to, you know, I've put multiple products on people just to add up to $100,000. American Amical graded, I got AIG, I got Gerber, I got multiple products maxed out and graded to get to hundred grand or so. Or we can use their retirement plan to pay off the house. This strategy alone is why I'm selling so many annuities how to teach people to pay off the home fast using their retirement. So they have to pay a debt off of $200,000, okay? They have a, let's say they have a $100,000 annuity, or 401k, I'm sorry. And you show them an illustration that provides them with, you know, a 13% bonus, 200, that's $226,000 in 10 years. Plus the payments they're putting towards here, that can pay the home off in 10 or 15 years, plus, leave them a retirement schedule behind. So you can sell indexed annuities by convincing people with what all they already have, whatever it is, 401k, 403b, an IRA, thrift savings, 529. They have the ability to turn that money cash to or cash value inside life insurance 
that will die out, like you have term products that they're putting money towards. It may be ROP. You have index universal lives or just normal cash value building up into small policies. You take all the premiums from those products, you get one big product that's gonna last. Hypothetically, you have an IUL that won't survive, okay? It's gonna go the next five years. Why is that? Because of the, the uh, I'm sorry, the cost of insurance on it. Cost of insurance. And that's on the rise. So if they have a cash bucket here, there's 3,000 bucks left in it, but the cost of insurance is 150 bucks a month, then this thing's gonna be chewed up in a year and a half or two years. They will lose this index universal life product that they thought was gonna be in place forever. But because of your education and knowledge of these products, you're able to prove to them and provide to them the knowledge that they need. How did you do that too? If you find an index universal life, you need to contact the carrier that they're with. Well, contact the agent, contact the carrier they're with, and prove that it comes with cost of insurance. Always find out what the cost of insurance is to existing policies. That will help you turn these policies into premium you can use into new pro products that you're selling. Okay? And if you find term products, find out how long the term is. So if people, if you're smart enough and you're inside the house, you can tell people, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, do you have life insurance? Yes, we do. What style of life insurance do you have? Do you have whole life? Yes. If you hear that it's over 50 grand, you know that it's term or index universal life. Nine times out of 10. There's, you know, whole life goes up to 40 grand. And nine, you know, there's nothing else that they could have, term or index universal life. With that, with that, with that knowledge, you know that term runs out eventually. How long have you had it? I've had it for 20 years. There's either 20 or 30 year terms out there that they were sold back in a day. So we might have 10 years on this product thinking he has more time on it. They, you never know. The index universal life's a great one to have to pull out. You contact the carrier, you ask them about the cost of insurance, uh, any additional fees that may be towards that particular product and tell them when, how long they have on that product by adding up what the cost of insurance is, subtracting it from the cash value. So when you do this, you show the, you provide the information where the product's not gonna be there anymore. Very simple. The term product's even better. I mean, you got a 20 year term and you got five years left on it, Mr. Jones. Here's what else I need to do. If he's paying a hundred bucks a month on it, I wanna multiply that by 12. I'm gonna add that at 1200 bucks and I'm gonna times that by the next five years, zero, zero, 10. $6,000 he's gonna spend and he's probably going to outlive the product. He'll probably turn 70 years of age, outlive the product if he's healthy, and he'll have nothing in place for his wife. Now, you've got to get these people prepared to go to age 85, 9, things like that. So you can use the premium that they were already paying on these products. Use the now, you have a premium of like 200 bucks to work with because you took bad products off. We're going to say they're bad products, but they're products that aren't going to go the distance and do the right job. So you're in-house doing the right job, you get the premium out of them, you flip that premium into your own products, and you sell one large product. Now sometimes you're gonna run into a situation where your $200 doesn't match what they have. Let's say they had 300K that they were gonna leave behind. Plus they were spending the next 10 years or five years, they were gonna spend $6,000 trying to get their wife $300,000. But they outlive it, so you may be able to get them 100k but it's guaranteed which one would you provide which one would you have you know you got five years left on a 300 grand you're healthy or you're going to take the guaranteed hundred thousand dollars because of their age the 200 bucks might get them less than what 20 years ago of course so you have to be careful on that and just explain that it's guaranteed to be there you're not going to lose it you're going to lose the 300 you're going to guarantee to keep that 100,000 is going to be there for Mrs. Jones. So retirement, you focus on retirement, building them cash value and paying off the house or selling them. So these three, one, two, three, four things is a base, my, the basis of my sales process and finding annuities. This retirement that is already in place can pay off the home in 10 years. 
depending on what they have inside their 401k or whatever product they have. Now, they have cash value. Sometimes you can blend these two together and get them to cash this out, cash this out, put it together, put it in a, a big annuity. Selling the house is a simple process. You've got to ask inside the home, Mrs. Jones, are you going to live here after he's dead and gone? Are you going to stay here? What else are you bringing to the table? What you guys are lacking if you're not selling big premiums is you're not bringing value. you got to bring value to the table. When you bring value, what is value? Living benefits are value. Mrs. Jones, if he gets cancer, heart attack, stroke, if he can't do two of six daily activities anymore, bathing, eating, dressing, toileting, transferring himself around, he gets this money while he's alive still. So he might be, depending on the product, he can get 85 to 95% out. I think Mutual of Omaha is 85. Uh, LSW might be 95. I'm not sure what F and G is at. That might be 95 too. But long story short, they get that money while they're alive to help provide for the times that he may not have an income. That's good for people that still have incomes or may have jobs still. But at the same time, can't, getting these kind of diseases and stuff like that can be hard on finances too. So bring value to the table, living benefits. Teach people about their cash value. Look, when somebody's making a premium payment, if, let me put it this way. If you're taking out of your pocket and you're putting money towards your policy, do you have one on yourself is a question. You should, and get one with large interest on it, and you can retire on that later. But you put premium payments away of 200 bucks a month. Would you rather that go towards interest earned or zero interest? That's the question you have to ask yourself when you're inside the home to justify term versus the index universal life. When you're doing the illustrations, if you do it through our company, we can help you do the illustration so it maximizes the interest earned, it pro provides them with the information of the past, it gives them the living benefits they deserve, and it also provides them with the information of where they'll be into the future by proof of the past. Now this one, the ROP situation, is going to be a hell of a lot less than earning 8% interest on your money. You know, it's just premiums paid in. So you have to justify which one is going to be best suited for these individuals. All the time, I choose interest earned all the time. That's the way I do. So I don't do ROP, even though the, the, you know, the, the, the money that you earn on selling term is outrageous. But still, I'm able to do the right thing. I get a lot of referrals to, to help people do the retirement schedules now, and that's what I'm pretty well known for in the, in the area. So, you know, when you're selling mortgage protection, and for those of you not selling mortgage protection, final expense, hold on a second, final expense can be turned into mortgage protection. You don't think people with final expense, if they had a lead, they contact you, you're in the house, they have mortgages to pay, what I'm saying is you can get more premium out of people by justifying that there's a house that needs paid too, Mrs. Jones, not just your burial or cremation. So you can get more premium out of final expense if you've got good quality leads. You know, I've been everywhere with final expense. I know some territories are a little rough to do this, but if you're in the right area, you can do this and get more premium out of people. And you can also find annuities in final expense life insurance leads. I've sold, that's where I started my whole career selling annuities was in final expense. I never, I didn't even touch mortgage protection until I got to Florida like three years ago. So it was uh, an interesting ride though, teaching myself how to do it, that's for sure. But I learned it and I know how to do it and it works every time. Every single time these strategies work. The reason is, is because of the value structure. All I'm doing is making sure they understand what value these products bring. And I'm making them paint the picture. I, I, I'm painting the picture on paper. Every time I've erased this, this is a new sheet of paper. Believe me, I'm ripping through paper. Anybody that's ever been on the field with me, I got a stack of paper I can read a book with. It's because I'm illustrating everything. I'll draw a house out here. You know, this house is in flames now. The bank got it. You lost. Your losses are $150,000 in 10 years, Mrs. Jones because you don't want to pay $100 a month out of the $1,000 a month you have left over that you're putting into your savings account. And this part's important for you to sell larger products, larger premiums. If you can just simply say these words, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, at the end of the month, you practically know their income. Let's say Mr. Jones has $3,000 in Social Security. She has $1,000. The mortgage payment's $1,000. 
That leaves 3,000 bucks to pay bills. Let's give them an extra $2,000 for fund money and paying bills. There's an extra thousand bucks left. However, I know this, but I'm going to still ask this question. I'm going to say at the end of the month, you have 500, 750, or thousand dollars a month left over after you pay all your bills and you have fun money to. What are you closer to? Let's say a thousand bucks. Well, then I can draw a policy out that looks like this. If you have a thousand dollars here and we bring it to 700 bucks a month, or we have a thousand bucks over here and we bring it to 800 bucks a month, all your bills are paid off. But this is what you've got left over. Which one looks better? Plus, your home's going to be able to be taken care of. You'll never lose it to the bank. You've got cancer protection, heart attack protection. You've got, uh, you got mortgage protection, you know, at the time that you need it to, to help you do two things. One, pay off the house if Mr. Jones lives long enough. So on the back end, if there's only five years left, the payments left, you can pay off the house if he would die at age 80 -ish, You know? It's two is to sell the home. For the for what? For the equity. That's her inheritance. Truly, an inheritance is the equity in the home. So she walks away with two hundred thousand dollars here by getting a small product on. You could sell easily by teaching people what they have left over. So you show them how much. You know, basically ask them what do you have left over at the end of the month after you paid all your bills and you've had some fun money taken out too, and they leave you. You know, you draw off $500, $750, $1,000, which are you closer to? They're going to say 1000 bucks. You know that, it's true. On average, you got $1,000 a month left. Would you feel comfortable with all your bills being paid and you have a $100,000 policy here that pays you if you're living, it pays you at retirement, and it pays at death, and you had 700 bucks still left over to put in the bank or it's extra money that you may need in an emergency situation, this looks comfortable, right? Well, how about going a little further? How about would you prefer to have a $200,000 policy and have roughly about 400 bucks left over? But look what's happening. You're building interest. So if you could show these illustrations of the Index Universal Life, people be sold all day. They're going to see their numbers growing and say, well, my bank doesn't do that. Oh, this is like nuts for me to say no to this. Or interestingly enough, they're past the ROP stage, so they can't get ROP. So that's your only option is to show them how to grow their money. Even in, in, in the final expense products, if it's below 40000 and you have to have multiple products across the board to get to 100000 teach them about the interest earned on the cash flow. You're still earning 3% interest on your cash. So, you know, in a couple of years, it'll be built up. And why is that important? Here's why this is important to have this knowledge. Mr. Jones, I know we're talking about covering Mrs. Jones, okay? But if God forbid she were to go before you, and let's say 20 years goes past, and you guys are, what, 85 years old, and she goes before you, you can add up roughly if you take policies and you take the premium payments and you divide it by two, it's about 50 bucks here. That's what would go into the cash value. That's roughly what cash value would look like. Times 12, that's 600 bucks. That's $6,000 every 10 years. There's $12,000 here. So roughly he might have with interest $20,000. You'll receive a check for 20 grand while you're protecting her. So your money's going into a bank account. You understand, Mr. Jones? Plus, if you get cancer, or heart attack, or stroke, he covers you, gives you a whole damn pot, you know, while you live, or a big part of the uh, face amount while you're still alive. So, multiple ways to sell, but you have to figure out what strategy works best for you. One of the simplest ways to sell mortgage protection is just figure it out, you know, what, what is left over. So, if you know they got $1,000 a month, Mrs. Jones, will you live in this house? Do you want to sell it? If she says she wants to sell it, then all you need to do is buy her time. You get her a $50,000 policy that buys two years of mortgage payments, plus she has to wait for his Social Security to kick in. That's a very important selling point. The six to 12 months people wait to get their significant other's Social Security because they have this void in time. So if you can teach them about that, you're going to make your sales bring more value to the table. Uh, you got two years. If you want $25,000, it'll buy you roughly one years of time. Depending on the demographics that you're in and good times, too, this house can sell fast. It can sell in one to 30 days or 
one to two years, you know? So your job is to know that. So that's it, man. To get to the indexed annuities, pretty simple, Mr. Jones. So I ask in a script, Mr. Jones, what else are you leaving behind? Or do you have life insurance? Are you leaving anything else behind? Are you leaving anything else behind for Sarah? So while she's waiting this six to 12 months, does she have something to wrap herself around? Yes, I have a 401k. I have an IRA. Uh, I got cash in the bank. Great, wonderful. And what will she receive from all that? Well, that's roughly about a half a million bucks. Boom, there's your annuity illustration. This isn't a sale yet, but what it is is an illustration. So the two ways you can do this is if you're new at this, you take that information, you sell the policy first, get the policy sold first. You take that information back to your upline or me or, or my, my partners, and we design an annuity that fits for their schedule for the highest earnings. In 10 years, this will be $1.2 million. Okay, how can anybody say no to that if they're in the market? The market's going to die soon. He's going to lose his rear end. You don't want that to happen to him, okay? Um, so you get the illustration, you deliver the policy, and you say, Mr. Jones, I found a way to use what you already have to pay for this policy on a monthly basis using his 10% free draw every year. He gets the policy paid for. He gets his monthly payments at his house paid for, or he lets it ride and he pays the house off in 10 years, plus has a huge death, uh, death benefit and, he, and uh, retirement plan put aside. So you can sell these annuities all day long, man. You just gotta find the money. I call it finding the money. But the simplest way to find the money is just ask. Mr. Jones, ask this way. Mr. Jones, what else are you leaving behind? What is it? Ask what it is, you gotta know what it is. Where is it? What is it? Where's it at? And then say, you know, how much is it valued to her? What's the value of it? When you speak this kind of language to these people, they wanna work with you, you know? Hey, you have a 401k, how much is in it? That doesn't work with people. They're gonna be like turned off big time about that. You know what I mean? You have to be the expert, you have to use the language, and you have to get this stuff on the table. Now, the second way to do it is get the half a million bucks illustrated immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I know the way we can get this house paid off in five to 10 years, plus build you a huge nest egg, a, a fabulous death benefit, plus a huge retirement plan. So I'd like to do this illustration to show you all your options for mortgage protection, okay? An annuity is just another format to life insurance or an annu uh, mortgage protection. The language of mortgage protection is basically life insurance. So an annuity is mortgage protection when you use it correctly. Pay the house off faster. Get a larger death benefit. Higher retirement schedule. Never lose a dime again. Never lose a penny. Okay, participate only in the upsides of the market, never the downsides. Earn about one point, earn about five hundred and eighty thousand dollars over a ten-year period while you're at it. Pay your house off, have a larger retirement schedule. You do it, you print it up on their computer, and you show them the illustration immediately. That's only for the guys who've been doing it a while. The, the first strategy works best if you're new at this. Take this stuff back to your upline, get the illustration done, bring it back when you deliver the policy, tell them I found a way, a strategy that we use at our office to pay people's homes off faster, plus get this policy paid for. I'd like to show you that. Here's the illustration. Show them the cash part of the bucket, the illustration, go into what it looks like, show them the past 10 years, what it looks like. If they were with this for the past 10 years, you'd be able to show them that they'd be at, from $500,000, they get a $65,000 bonus, 13% up front, okay? And in one year, they'll be at about $630,000. That's $130,000 you've earned them in one year. Because a stockbroker will never touch this. So make sure you show them their first year earnings along with the next 10 year, putting them at about $1.2 million on average. So that's how you do that, and use a theme. This is a great way to strategize to get annuity sales and then also <clears throat> get homes paid off faster, building retirements while protecting these people from the downside of the market. And if you don't do it, they're gonna dive. Here's what I suggest you do. If they don't do it, 
and you know the market's collapsing, send a letter, show them where they could be. Market collapses in two years. Put a file next to you in your office somewhere with people that didn't do annuities with you. So write up a letter. If you want to use the one I do, you're more than welcome. Why don't you join my team, of course. And then we can send out letters to annuity clients that never sold, but the downside of the market's here. See, when people get hit with the market, you're able to use the bonus to get them right back to where they left off. You know what I mean? This guy loses 65,000 bucks overnight, but the bonus is 65,000. You put them right back at 500 grand, the plus 8% interest earnings. They will do it with you. It, it, it happens a lot, so you just gotta remember to do this. So that's that's about it. Do you guys, anybody have any questions for today? And I just wanted to do a quick webinar for a couple of people that were asking for it. Anybody have any questions about anything? Put it in the comment section and I'll give that a second. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna type in how you can get part of this co-organization on that. And uh, I want you to text. Tony to 352-255-2594. For the best leads in the market, the best education, and the, and just all around the best income earning potential you can have. Quit fumbling the ball, come on board, and just start a career that actually makes you money because you're getting the education you need, along with the resources. You can't make these particular sales in the wrong demographics. You'll never run into this stuff. I'm telling you, this is nationwide going on, and this works time and time again. So. I'm just saying that look, if, if you're out there and you want to be, get the education, there's more details to these sales that we do inside our own webinar system. So if you want more details and more strategies, more techniques and tips, join our, uh, join our agency and I'll give those tips to you. If there's no comments, I'm going to head on out. I got some grub waiting for me and you guys all have a great weekend. Six, 12 months waiting period for spouses, so security. Good point, Jason. Thanks, Lawrence. I appreciate it. If there is nobody else, I'm going to head on out. Anybody have any questions? Anybody comment? Anything? Anything? Anybody? Anything? All right. You guys have a great Sunday. I'll see you guys this week. Hopefully you got something out of this and you can earn 10000 bucks this week.